that big time commercial break, we are honored to have on our program for the very first time, they call themselves Steampunks. Let's bring them out right now, Queen Clara and Professor William Watley. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Uh, what, what, what do you got right there, Professor? Well, this is actually a uh, radio system. I don't have the antenna with it because uh, if I actually try demonstrating it, it might damage some of your equipment. Uh, however, the beacon feature on it is working properly and shouldn't be a problem. Kind of looks like the flux capacitor a little. Uh, similar principles. Similar principles. Now, you guys obviously are steampunkers. For the millions of people watching around the world, what exactly are steampunkers? Uh, one way to put it is we live in the world that Jules Verne wrote about. Mm -hmm. Really? Like 200,000 leagues under the sea and all that other stuff? Oh, yeah. Precisely. Or more recently, the Sherlock Holmes movies that uh, Robert Downey Jr. was in, especially really? the second mm -hmm. one. Fantastic. Now, how long have you guys been doing this? Well, in my case, um, about three and a half years now. Three and a half years, huh? Now, what got you involved in this? Well, I've always been interested in history, and I have a family history of five generations of uh, gadget makers and uh, home inventors. Really? Unbelievable. Do, you know, do I know anything they invented? Uh, not particularly. It's things like my... Uh, one of my ancestors was notorious in his area in Nebraska for improving farm machinery. Really? You know what the other Things great thing from simple. Nebraska was? Johnny Carson. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Now, this thing right here is a radio. Is that what it is? It is. Actually, in the style of most steampunk things, uh, there is a real radio in here about the size of a pack of cigarettes. Really? Which, it's a plain black item. It's not particularly... Interesting. So, add a few extra little features, some knobs, some coils, some dials. You invented it? Yes. Unbelievable. You have a patent on it? Because we may steal it. <laughs> well, actually, I'm in the middle of improving on it, so... All right, when it's all patented, it you can just give us... If it was a matter of stealing it, uh, <laughs> we would end up um, with whatever you stole would be hopelessly behind what I'm working on. Unbelievable. We're not going to let the cat out of the bag. But what you guys are down here for you is you're promoting the Watch City Festival, and that's taking place May 10th through the 12th in Waltham, Massachusetts. So if you're out there and you want to find out what steampunk is all about, it's going to be an unbelievable event. So why don't you give us the 411 on the Watch City Festival? Okay. Since you are the queen of the Watch City Festival. I'm actually the queen of Steampunk City. Oh, you are the Steampunk City. Yes. Sorry. So my city is Steampunk City combines with Waltham, Massachusetts to create the Watch City Festival. Basically, we have our world clashing with your world, and then we, we, we show you our world. We let you experience what Waltham would be like in my world. Really? Yes. So it's like a different dimension type of deal going oh, yes. on here with steampunk invading Waltham, Massachusetts. The whole entire downtown of Waltham gets converted into a steampunk city. Even the Obbies? Even the Obbies. Unbelievable. You know, I think that's the only Obbies in New England, by the way. It's out in Waltham, Massachusetts. Now, this is fascinating. Now, how did you become queen of Punk City? Okay. So, actually, I was found floating in a basket with two clockwork swans and 12 baby clockwork ducklings following me, getting whatever I needed. A family found me, they brought me to the mayor, and on seeing me, he decided to claim me queen. So it's kind of like Moses a little bit, a tiny meeting bit. Alex from a clockwork orange. A little bit. Were I you don't... singing in the rain? I do sing. I don't sing in the old in out in out thing that down there. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Fantastic. Now this is now this is fantastic. I know that the colonel down at the end of the coach. Now, Colonel, you've been fascinated with steampunk for a long time down there. I understand that you may actually attend the Watch City Festival. You think you could escort the Queen downtown Waltham? If she needs an escort, TC, I will do it. What are your rates per hour? I'll do it for nothing. For You're going to do it for, do it for nothing. For now, now, what kind of food do they serve down here? Because that's how you get the colonel involved in this. What kind of, is it like okay. any steampunk so, type of dishes? They're, well, we're mostly Americana dishes. We do like our Indian food. Um, Victorian. Now, Jewish. Indian food, you're talking about uh, American or 7-Eleven? I'm, I'm talking about American. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. We, 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 we do 
American. We also do 7-Eleven. There is a lot of 7-Eleven, but um, a lot of Indian. Anything you could possibly want. We have a great, amazing wing shop just down the street on Moody Street, actually. Everything's on Moody Street in Waltham. You remember Mr. Big Toyland? Out on Moody Street in Waltham? You, yeah. you might remember. Oh, yes. Did you go in there and buy you like your little Argo from Star Blazers there? Well, actually, I think there's a chance that I did buy one of those for my son years ago. Fantastic. <laughs> I love that show. You kind of look like Captain Avatar sitting right there. Uh, now, once again, this is May 10th through the 12th. Now, does it cost anything to go to this? Well, it costs... You can buy a button, which unfortunately I don't know the price right now. Is uh, twenty dollars? I think so it's a twenty dollar button. That's yes. not kind of the button that Whitey Bulger used to talk about either. No, right? no, 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 okay. no. And this will get you into every single event that's happening in the festival. There's also a bunch of free events. Now, do you have to dress in uh, steampunk oh, no, no, costume? No, 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 no. We have about some steampunkers that come, but majority are. Middle town families that want to come. Now, can you define, where does the term steampunk come from? Professor? Professor, you're a professor. Well, yes, what happened was that uh, many years ago, someone came up with the term cyberpunk for cyberpunk. a particular type, of, uh, particular type of literature. And as what is now called the steampunk movement became uh, a little more widespread, on a radio show, someone was interviewing an author and uh, said, well, what should we call this? And he thought for a moment, said, well, uh, we've already got cyberpunk. Maybe we should call it steampunk. And the name stuck. Fantastic. Now, I found out about steampunk in the, in the weirdest way. You ever watch the show Bar Rescue? Yes. <laughs> they actually had a show a couple of weeks ago about a steampunk bar. I think it was in Detroit or something. And, oh, yes. and they reformatted it and got rid of all the steampunk because it was just too bizarre for the customers out there. Now, you guys are fan friendly, right? Are family friendly as well? Oh, yes. definitely. As a matter of fact, the queen is great with children. She is right down there. <laughs> You're the great with the, who's the king of the, uh, of the steampunk We do festival? not have a king. Why Colonel, do we need a king? Well, you, yes, know, you could be the king down here. You think you're interested in that? If I get a shot, maybe. You do spend a lot of time on the throne. Oh, my. Unbelievable. I can't wait. I may actually attend this. Sabrina, nice. you may actually go to this as well. I know you're a big fan of steampunking. I think her dress is really pretty. Really? Yeah. So you are the queen of after hours. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a big time commercial break. You see the information on the screen now, the address, the email address. Find out all about the Watch City Festival. I want to thank you guys for being on the program. It was an unbelievable honor, and I hope you do well, and I want you to come back anytime you feel like it. And when you invent something good that I can steal the patent from, you bring it back to me, Professor, okay? Indeed I will, Unbelievable. sir. Unbelievable. So we're going to take a big time commercial break. When we come back, the one and the only Ricky Bittman will be here, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. Steve Hunt.